All right, well, here we are for, I'm gonna say round one, but uh, we're actually only playing two player queues uh, because there's just no one in the eight player queues for basically any formats right now. I, uh, I don't think the uh, beta spotlight is particularly popular with many players, and I have already learned why. Um, it took me about half an hour to even find you know, the ability to actually get into a match. I couldn't actually trade with anyone. Um, no one was online, and I had to figure out how to actually find my collection to trade. It was very annoying. Um, and it also, just look at this. Look at why it, this is all just. I have these giant cards. I was uh, unable to. So I, I have you know, a particular resolution that I record at, and uh, I had to you know, shrink Magic Online to fix this fit this particular window on my screen. And uh, you know the other windows that just randomly pop out, out of nowhere don't actually adjust to this resolution. So I have to like readjust every single one, but the cards are just still just gigantic in my hand. Um, but whatever. Um, we're gonna keep our hand. Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll be able to read one of our cards at some point because it won't like be just gigantic and overlapping everything else. Um, so we're gonna keep. We'll F8. Look at how tiny these are. Look at how tiny this is. Why is it? Why are the cards? Why is there this big thing in the middle? Why is my hand so big? None of this. I can shrink it, right? Okay, I can. All right. Well, at least that. It's it's hilarious that things don't like auto resize when you like change the you know the resolution and everything. All right. Well, we drew Arid Mesa. Uh, I think I just want to play. Forced into the coddle. Uh, a serum vision is indicative of any number of things. Could be, yeah, you know, could be storm, um, could be twin. Uh, most likely some sort of combo, combo type deck. Um, I mean, he could also be, uh, you know, just like blue red delver or something. But we're just gonna go ahead and play forest in the coddle. Let's so go. Thankfully, F8 still works. Oh God. I have sounds again. How do I turn off sounds? How do I do that? I, I probably have to go to some other window to turn off sounds. Oh god. Okay, Ascension. That's fine. Except it's not fine because I have sounds on that I don't want. Um, Alright, well we're gonna go... Oh my god. How do I even turn off the sounds? This is this is infuriating. Um, oh, this is nice. I can barely see the actual. I can barely see. I just like expand this. Uh, this is nicely over my you know relevant information. Cool place for the stack. I'll pay two life. Um, just gonna cast. No, no, I don't want a Tarmogoyf. I actually, I want Scavenging Ooze against Ascension. I guess I can, I can cast Tarmogoyf now and then play Ooze next turn. So we might as well play. Uh, or we can play Ooze and, and we end up having more mana for Ooze next turn, which is relevant. Um, Ooze will end up being probably about the same size um, as Goyf if I'm gonna be removing things. So Ooze is probably is probably the correct play. I'm so distracted by just how horrible. Like, why is this big gap in the middle here? Like, what? What is th th this? Is just making the play space smaller? Why are cards so small? Because, well, there's this stupid space in the middle. Sure. I hope he doesn't cast a Serum Visions. Oh, okay. Well, he just has his, has his Ascension going already. Cool. Turn 3, active Ascension.
So I think I just say go. I mean, I can't really do... All I can really try and fight here um, is uh, past in flames. I can't kill him. I can put him to three. But like, what? yeah, I hate, like, why are these cards organized in this way? Why is, yeah, everything's so small, everything's so tiny. It's not this, you know, unreadable. The cards are actually rendered horribly. Verdant Cat Kit. I actually can't make my hand any smaller than this, can I? Oh no, I can't. I can just get it off the screen so I can only see titles. There we go. And then this is, again, just gigantic and blocking this. What if you didn't know what this was? Like, you can't actually, if you didn't, like, oh, okay, I can right click it, but it's just gonna be inherently blocked to have this, you know, visual of the stack. It's just like, give me a break. Sure. And I'm basically dead. I, I really should have the Edelon of Rhetoric in my sideboard, but it's not online yet. I didn't really really want to put a uh, a Rule of Law in. I got Past in Flames. All right, well, we're going to remove Past in Flames right now. Oh, the Exile just appeared over here. This whole thing appeared. So if I, like... What if I like don't care about my opponent's graveyard? I can't actually like not see it. What does this do? What does this do? Oh, I can scroll up and down. I can't like this doesn't need to be on the screen at all times. There's no reason for it. This should be something that I choose or choose not to view. What does this card do? Well, I guess I can right click on it, but nope, it's obscured. Okay. Should probably remove his faithless looting. Hope I click the right thing on my incredibly tiny library. Remove your faithless looting. I do like this. This is nice. This like actual counter here. Oh god! How do I shrink it? I don't want you to be this big anymore. Can I no longer shrink it? Did I have I lost my chance? What? Where is it now? Okay. Oh oh god! It's over here. That makes sense. Just massively far off, off the screen. Sure, sure, sure. Metamorphosing, it's fine. Sure. Put you to four. I'm so tilted. This is so horrible.
Sure, whatever. No, I'm just gonna ignore what he has in play. I just have a giant hand. What else can I resize? Here. Alright. Let's play like this. What's in my hand? Oh, we can scroll through it still. Ooh. It's over here. That's the exiled card. Come on, come on. Keep it up. Just do whatever. I kind of just want to like lightning bolt him just so I can F6. Yeah, this is going to be about storm count one, so I'm just bolting him so I can F6. This is the right time. This is the right time to get the bolt in. If you're like paying attention at home and trying to learn, that is the point in the combo that you want to bolt them. So you no longer have to actually press more buttons. I'm glad that webcam is like pointed straight ahead and not like down, because like my credit card, several of them actually, have just been like sitting here, face up on my on my desk. I had to actually buy tickets in order to. Uh, oh God, it could it could have been the difference, but I actually had to buy tickets in order to play in an event because none of the draft bots or none of the the, the bots that I trade with and get uh, you know get packs from um, were actually online because of the beta. Is there any way, can you like get rid of, no, you can't get rid of this graveyard section. Like it's just there. You can't minimize, like why is this just like a, a constantly available zone that I have to pay attention to? Like, this is not generally a relevant like zone for information. Sometimes it is, and you wanna see it sometimes, but, I, oh God. But there's, you know, there's no reason I want to see it all the time. It's just taking up space. It's going to bring me to, oh, at least I, I don't get taken to a totally new, you know, zone now or whatever. But now I have to, like, like why, is, why, why are these here? Why do I want to filter the colors of the cards in my, in my deck? Like, what, this, why is this taking up this bar here when I'm sideboarding? Like, how is this... How is this a thing when I'm sideboarding? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be able to actually see the cards in my deck. I want to, I want to see filters. And you, you know, you can't organize this like, yeah, jeez. It's like if you actually have a reasonable number of lands in your deck, you want to be able to see your deck. This is what it looks like, and this is how you can actually view your sideboard. How is this a thing? How does this make any sense to anyone? All right. Well, we're gonna get some chokes in our deck. We're still we're, we're probably gonna lose because we don't re really have much in the way of sideboard cards here. Um, we'll take out some paths. Uh, let's we'll put in some mind sensors too, because why not? But yeah, normally I have um, rule of law or Thalia or something in my sideboard. I I was not playing them in this tournament, and uh, I am getting punished for that. Um, I guess I'll submit. Oh, it's, and then the, the chat's just right here for no apparent reason. Um, we'll play first. <laughs> Saves this, this info. Uh, we will keep this. Our deck 
can't really win all that often, but this hand is actually not bad. <laughs> Look at it. This is really what you think is, 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 is right, is for my land to be the super tiny. The most important thing in a game of Magic is the cards in play. And they just default to being, you know, just illegible and super small and ridiculous. Hmm. I'm, I'm really glad there's this just giant strip of space totally wasted on the screen. Basic mountain. All right, well, he's got a lightning bolt, so... We're just going to attack. And then we'll play our Tarmogoyf. Oh, and also, just changing changing the undo from Alt-U to Control-Z. Oh, this is... I like we had... There was an undo, which was, you know, made total sense. Now there's just a different one. Just changing things. Cause why not? Just wanna mix them up. It's all giant. It's a bunch of goblins. Or you oh, electromancer. Okay. It's actually not that bad.
I, it, it blows my mind that this is like an un, you know, this this is a field that is is, you know, a zone that is must display at all time that is just taking up this real estate in the screen. This could be used so much better. This could be one of these other zones where it's like exiled card. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Revealed cards effects. Exile zone, revealed cards, and effects. Like, why is graveyard something that's just on the screen all the time? I'm actually taking notes in the various things that are just like like annoying me because I feel like I have to I have to share them. I'm gonna. This is one of them. Yeah, like I'm able to click something there. Um, so I just want Wolf Run right now. What's he at? I think I just want Wolf Run right away. Control Z. So I could just play this and then attack with birds. For two, or I could attack with I could just attack with Tarmogoyf. I can play higher attack with Tarmogoyf. And then wolf run it. So if I play if I play Hierarch, Tarmo gives a six power, I can Wolf Run for one, so he takes five damage. Then I get to Knight, and then Knight is Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> What's the power of that Goyf? Can you tell? Can you tell by looking at the screen? This is just ridiculous. How is my card that small? How is that how is that okay in anyone's mind that the gameplay information in my card is that small? If he doesn't block you know, I don't have to wolf run, I just get to play another night.
We have ritual looting or something? What's he got for me? He has one card left in his hand. it so they can't see my card text just shrink it like this then my stuff is like you know this is still like blurry like I still can't even tell what's going on here. lightning bolt what's it targeting that guy okay like I, I also just vastly prefer to the arrows that existed before like how is this better than the arrows I don't understand it, it, you know clearly indicated without me having to like mouse over the card. But I don't care what land I want. Oh, I didn't even, <laughs> because my hand was down here, I didn't even see that I had a Thunder Maw. This is, this, I, I, uh, this is horrible. Thunder Maw just kills him, but. <laughs> well, he's nothing, he's, he's just dead anyway, but. You're dead either way. There's no single card, I think. Oh, actually, guess you, I guess you have an active ascension, so it does matter that I, you know, totally punted this. By not being able to see my cards. I don't really get... I guess this leaves him not dead to Wolfram Bolt. Don't have Manamorphose and just go off because you have an active ascension. Oh, the Manamorphose. Hey, it's Manamorphose. I could just die right now. That's cute. Because I didn't see my Thunder Maw because I was hiding my, my hand down here because I, yeah, because I couldn't see what, what in the world was happening on the board otherwise. I love the beta. Probably dead now. Now that I missed that, and he drew Manamorphose.
I really don't want to finish recording the rest of these videos because there's, you know, this this is just such a miserable experience playing this this client. It's horrible. Here, I'll just look at this stuff and see what happens when, you know, when it's over. Where we get to. Still needs to draw, like, ritual, ritual. I guess there's a faithless leaving his yard. He still needs, like, a bunch of mana producers. We're just up man and producer gas use the assumption. Yeah, I'm probably dead now. When I should have just been attacking him for lethal, but I didn't even know I drew a Thunder Mug! So I wanted to see what was happening on the board, so I had my hand like this and just click something. I don't even know how to change my stops on this either. Because like, do I do it like this? Yeah, okay. It also just didn't carry over my stops. What an upkeep stop. Maybe these are the stops I have. No, because I normally have stops on... No, I guess... I don't know. Regardless, this is the worst. Oh, he didn't even know he had, he had a past in flames. Maybe it'll take seven and a half minutes to kill me. There's a bolt in the grape shot in here, so I'm definitely dead. I love your program, wizards. Cool.